Joan Rogers and her two daughters had never been out of their home state of Ohio. In June of 1989, they decided to venture to Florida. Authorities say that's where they met Oba Chandler, a sweet talker native to Ohio as well. Investigators say Chandler invited the three out on his boat to watch the sunset over Tampa Bay. But the Rogers family didn't know the sun was also setting on their lives. Investigators say Chandler stripped his victims from the waist down, bound their arms and legs, taped their mouths shut, and tied a cinder block around each of their necks. He then threw them overboard, alive. The Rogers car was found abandoned near a boat ramp and their bodies were discovered a short time later. Investigators lifted Chandler's fingerprints from a brochure in the car with directions written in Chandler's handwriting. More than five years after the murders, a jury found Chandler guilty on three counts of murder. He tried to appeal several times but remained on death row. Authorities say Chandler is the 267th person to get the death penalty in Florida. They say he maintained his innocence to the end. Coming up at 11, we'll get reaction from outside the Florida State Prison. Kimberly Howard, GTN News, working for you.